Hello y'all, this is Red Flood, a mod for Heartspiring 4 that takes place in a world where no one actually won World War I. We are going to play as Fiume, also known as the Italian Regency of Carnero, which is led by Gabriele Leuncio. This nation was created after Italy didn't receive its desired irredentist claims following World War I. It was a pariah on the international stage until it was recognized as a sovereign state at the Treaty of Rapolo. Fiume has endured through political turmoil and armed conflict as a small but strong state. Despite the advanced age of its leader and his increasingly poor health, national morale remains strong. Once we start, we're immediately greeted by an event that tells us about this world we are playing in. Where does Fiume fit in all of this, you may ask? Well, after the Great War ended, a new political movement called Accelerationism swept through Europe. This highly artistic and chauvinist ideology emerged on the global scene after Italian radicals seized the city of Fiume in 1919. This new ideology has been a thorn in the side of Marxists, monarchists, and moderates ever since. We begin with one national spirit and it is named the Slump. Also, we're part of a faction called the League Solar, which consists of us, Fiume, Avant-Garde France, who is the leader, and the Caribbean Futurist. Moving on to our army, we have five divisions. They are all veteran mountaineers. As for commanders, we have four generals and no starting field marshals. Let's look at our military tech next. We have modern weapons, well as modern as you can get for 1936 anyway. Motorized, basic artillery, fighters for 1936, close air support, and the earliest level of tactical bombers, which are interwar bombers. Let's begin our focus tree. Oh, and don't worry, we'll get bigger. This is one of those dynamic type of focus trees. But anyway, let's begin our focus tree by completing the endeavor, the 15th Oringo, addressing the slump, the eastern border, and the 16th Oringo. A charming guest, a well-renowned pianist, is visiting Fiume. Fun fact, this woman may or may not be a mistress of Gabriel Dionzio. He had a lot of those apparently in real life. I looked that up for some reason. The pianist does pianist things, and by that they play a piano and make music. And from what I gather in this event, people really like the music. News from Africa, accelerationist Tag Madagascar. Yet another country comes to our surreal embrace. The piano lady slash mistress of Dionzio is leaving Fiume. Meanwhile, a man referred to as the father of futurism gives the special guest of the nation a send-off in what I can only describe as blowing up the venue she just performed at as well as a plane. It's either that or performance art. It could be both, I don't know. At some port somewhere, one of our officials clash with their Italian counterpart over some issue. Violence ensues, and this whole debacle may have diplomatic ramifications for us and our neighbor to the west. The incident in Venice. This is a continuation of that event I just read. We have two choices here. We can demand formal investigation and compensation from the Italian government, or say our people's blood is not for sale. Let's go with the first option. Italy responds to our demand by saying there will be no compensation or investigation until Fiume recognizes the legitimate authority in Rome. So basically, since we can't really do that, nothing's going to happen. Up north above us, a civil war has started between the Austrian Commune and the Austrian Reich. Acting as some kind of redemption for what happened earlier in Venice, Guido Keller, the so-called action secretary, and a few other pilots launched a raid on Rome. Many flowers and chocolates are dropped into the Eternal City. Death of the pilot. The raid on Rome took a turn for the worse, and by that I mean on the way back, our planes were greeted by some Italian ones, and a dogfight took place. The Austrian Civil War is over. The Austrian Commune lost. Our French allies are invading Wallonia. That doesn't seem like a one-sided conflict at all. Addressing the slump, how do we deal with it? The slump is what our economy is in due to an economic crash in 1931. Due to D'Unzio's poor health, other factions are going to try and put forth their own ideas to handle this problem. Let's go with Guido Keller's plan, which consists of giving the local syndicates more power 
in order to encourage local production, even at the expense of international trade. So that explained, for this event, we are going to click on Our Syndicates Need More Autonomy. Far away from us, to the east, a civil war is going down between the Russian Empire and the Novorossian General Governorate. There is a poetry contest going on in Fiume, and we must select a winner. So with that in mind, let's go with the choice here that says a poem full of euphoria about reaching for the stars. In Africa, the Ugandan Commune has popped up and declared war on the United Kingdom and the Southwest African Protectorate. Considering the size of the United Kingdom's faction, I wish the Ugandan Commune good luck with their war. They'll need it. The border with the Slavians. There are concerns that our neighbor, Yugoslavia, may try to attack us in the future. What will we do to protect ourselves from this potential incursion? Let's go with the suggestion Guido Keller gives us, and that is to control the skies. Going with this choice will give the state of Fiume one anti-air. News from the United States. The jobless Progressive Party won the 1936 presidential election. We must reform the militia of Fiume, the Arditi. Let's do so by giving them better weapons. The Duce of Fiume, Gabriel D'Anzio, has died at the age of 74. So there goes our country leader. Due to D'Anzio's untimely passing, the Consiglio di Antimi, or the Council of the Excellent, or the Excellence, will be in charge of the country for the time being. Also, we got a new focus tree, and it, we will do the greatest loss and the emergency state. Once the emergency state is done, we'll get D'Anzio's successor, and we're hoping to get the aviator, Guido Keller. The emergency state focus is finished, and with this event it is confirmed, D'Anzio's right-hand man, Guido Keller, will be in charge of Fiume from now on. We did the focus to Aviator, and that officially put Guido Keller in power. We're still an accelerationist country, though. Also, we have a whole new focus tree, which will culminate in us invading Italy. Guido Keller historically was an aviator and political activist. He fought in World War I and served as a lieutenant in the Italian Army before eventually transferring to the Military Aviation Corps. After the war, he helped Gabriel D'Anzio march on Fiume in 1919 and was given the title of the Secretary for Action. Besides this, some other things he did was pose as Neptune for some reason in a photo, he dabbled with futurism a little bit before becoming disillusioned with it, and he also founded a yoga group. Later on, he died at the age of 37 in 1929 in a traffic accident. We're going to do everything in this focus tree, so I'm going to go ahead and list all these off. We're going to do poetry in motion, maintain the experiments, examining the militia, examining the corporations, examining the councils, examining the laws, examining the institutions. The show goes on, the bound, expand RDD, the great aerodrome, contacts in the veneto, the sprint, speak the bobo, turn the captains, fill the hangars, industrial authority, inform the councils, and now, the leap. In the Middle East, a war has started between the United Zionist Front and the Kingdom of Syria. The Arditi has been expanded, and by that I mean, by completing the focus, we got a bunch of divisions for free. Our northern neighbor, the Austrian Reich, has decided they want to take out the Czechoslovak Kingdom. Not satisfied with just Czechoslovakia, Austria is now invading Switzerland. Also, we're getting closer and closer to doing the focus the leap, and when that focus is done, we will declare war on Italy automatically. As part of our preparations for the upcoming conflict with the Italians, we can use a decision to make Veneto a demilitarized zone. Thanks to the focus, turn to captains, Fiume now has a navy. The Italian Regency of Carnero, that's us, has declared war on the Kingdom of Italy, so our war has officially begun. Our units are crossing over into Italian territory. And to get us some backup, we are going to call in our ally, Avant-Garde France. We're going to have to depend on their aid greatly, considering our army size when compared to the Italians is not that large. The advance out of Fiume is not going very well, but hey, we did manage to navally invade Rome. Now we're going to try and send one division south to take 
Sicily, or attempt to anyway. We are going to take some volunteer divisions from Poland, and we are pushing back the Italians with the aid of our French allies. The Austrian Reich had the bright idea of declaring war on Germany, and the League Solar, our faction, is about to capture Rome for the second time. Italy surrendered, and in the peace conference, we got all of the Italian peninsula. Meanwhile, France got most of Italy's colonies. Now that our invasion is over with, we can do more stuff in the focus tree, and by that I mean we will complete the focuses, a firm landing down with princes and popes, the proclamations, and Roma o Morte. An event has popped up that will make us the owner of several states, the most notable of which is a piece of Italian Anatolia, which is currently controlled by the French. The proclamations is complete. Fiume has transformed into the Italian National Republic. We got a new flag, and we also got cores on all of the states in Italy. We're going to do the rest of the focuses in this focus tree, and I'm just going to point out some of the interesting ones. So we'll do proletarian nationalism, Italian syndicalism, reigning in the rich, the yoga elite, and purge the reaction. As Italy, we are invading Greece. Why, you may ask? Because no one said we can't. The French declared war on the Germans. That seems like a terrible idea, but you do you, France. You do you. Our little Greek adventure is over, and our ally is basically on fire. But hey, don't worry. Italy itself is doing fine. The video is going to end here. If you enjoyed the mod, check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Tell me what country I should play next in the comments. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.